So brand marketing is changing and consumer behavior is changing. And this follows on quite nicely from what Chris has just said. Social video advertising gives a big opportunity to brands to start a conversation with their consumers and to drive video sharing. But it's a bit of a dark art. So brands don't really understand at the moment why some videos get shared and why others don't. So the key to this is cracking the code on what makes this work. And at Unruly, we're in a unique position because of our technology platform, but also because of the data that we've collected over the past seven years. And we have cracked this code, and we can help brand marketers kind of come through the myth and debunk the myth of the fact that you can actually predict shareability. So a little bit about Unruly. Unruly was founded in 2006 by three individuals. It's a London-based company, but we now have 12 offices in six countries. We can also reach a publisher network. So on, we can reach through our publisher network an online audience of a billion unique internet users. So we have huge reach across the open web. We've delivered over 3,000 campaigns for, for our customers, for um, brand marketers. And that means that we've helped them get views, we've tracked what's happened, and we've helped them get shares. Why is sharing important? Sharing is really important because it's the way that people are interacting with each other online. So people are having conversations with each other, people are influencing each other. And for a brand marketer, so just to explain that social video advertising are adverts that you choose to watch. So it's not what's forced upon you. And I don't know if this resonates with you, but it's certainly true of me that if somebody recommends, somebody that I trust recommends that I watch something, so it could be a, fr um, a friend or a family member, or it could be somebody who you perceive to be an expert in an area of interest that you have. And if they say, you should watch this because it's um, exciting, it's interesting, um, you should watch this because I didn't know this brand was this cool. And it's probably going to make you watch. And statistics about sharing at the moment. So over 4 billion items are shared on Facebook every day. Over 700 videos, YouTube videos, are shared on Twitter every minute. Sharing is becoming a way that people speak to each other. We've been tracking sharing in our viral video chart since 2007. And what it's showing is that there's exponential growth. So we track what's happening to what we would describe as viral videos, the ones that have massive reach. Last year, the most watched viral video had 17, over 17 million shares. The year before that, it was 10. Four years before that, we were down below two. So sharing is becoming a way people interact. And this is an area of big spend. These are probably some numbers that you've seen before today. But social advertising spend plus online video advertising spend is predicted to be $23 billion in 2015. And we know it unruly that Facebook and Twitter and YouTube will take a chunk of that. But even after that, that markets $6 billion US dollars. So what are the challenges that we're trying to help our brands that we work with solve? So as I was saying, there's a seismic shift in brand advertising. There are new platforms, new technologies, new ways that users are interacting with the internet. And what used to work just doesn't work anymore. Advertising, we're becoming blind to it online. We're blind to banner ads, other adverts that are just forced upon us, like white noise. So it's really important that brands find a way to reconnect with their consumers online and social video can do that. Advertising has to be content. So this is the concept of native. It needs to be content, it needs to be engaging, it needs to be compelling, and it needs to be shareable. But not just that, but you have to have the right distribution mechanic. You can't just put something online and hope it's going to get viewed. You need to push it out there and reach the target audience and reach the influencers in the target audience. And also, of course, it has to be viewable on mobile. So there are lots of formats out there that don't work on mobile. But given that consumers are spending 50% of their time on mobile, it has to work on mobile. And we find with social video that there are massive uplift against display advertising and against pre-roll. We're finding that there's a 5 to 20 times 
increase in response rates from people watching those videos. Most importantly for brands, it means that there's an opportunity to get massive earned media. That means that they get views they didn't even have to pay for. So the concept of a shareable, engaging piece of content is really important to brands. They can save between 20 to 80% of their budget by getting really big social sharing and earned media. So how do we do it on Ruli? We have an end-to-end -end product set. So we can look at what's trending today, and we can see how brands' campaigns are doing today with our analytics products. We can evaluate content, and we can distribute content. So the analytics product is a cloud-based dashboard, and we're tracking over 2,000 brands. And that means a brand can go in and see what their share of voice is against their competitors, and they can pick and choose their competitors, and they can drill down and find out why yesterday their major competitor had a much higher share of voice on the internet than they did. What was it about? What was the sentiment that was coming through? Our share rank product is a really exciting product. Um, it's a predictive algorithm that is built up from all of the data that we've collected over the past seven years. So this can actually predict earned media. So this is, this is a massively important tool. And what this means is that it can be used for content that isn't quite yet finalized. So we could take a creative asset, put it through here, and then say how to optimize it and how to change it to improve shareability and ultimately improved earned media. We can do an audit. So we can take a brand's, say, 10 video campaigns that they've run, and we can see and explain why one did well when others didn't. And that can help shape a brand's content strategy going forward. And of course, we have our distribution product. And the point about our distribution product is we take the creative asset, it goes into our platform, and we optimize it for sharing. And we're really careful. We push it out to super sharers, and we monitor what's happening to it. It's really important that you get the most views if, that you possibly can within the first three days of the campaign getting out there. And if you get good shares during that period, the burnout rate on your campaign is much less than if you didn't do that. So you can see here are some case studies for campaigns that Unruly's run. There's really great ROI on social video. Just a few examples. You may recognize them. You may not. But What's next? I mean, this is huge. What's next is really exciting for us because there are big technology players out there who are creating new platforms for video. So these are short form videos. I, unfortunately, I don't think I can play them, but it just gives you an example. And, and this means that the open web is getting bigger. So I think there's a statistic that says 64% of video views are on YouTube. That's going to go down. The open web is getting bigger. These are other platforms. And brands need to reach their consumers on all of these platforms. So that's what I'm really is focusing on. We're out there with a fantastic technology and product set that can help brands reach these audiences.